he's here because he heard that the people thought it was over that's why he's here because he thought the people thought that there the end had come for me he's here because the people said that there is no hope but even Jairus had enough faith to believe that even though the report may say death I choose to believe the report and because of the faith of the man watch this we can worship him Watch this. Because of the faith of the man, because of the worship of the man, yeah. not only is a woman who's had an issue for 12 years relieved, and she wasn't just healed, but the Bible says that Jesus looks at her and tells her that because you acted on your fault yeah. and reached, yeah. you're not just going to be healed, meaning you're not just going to get a temporary relief. He says to her, but your, your faith is making you whole. Wholeness to me indicates um, that what I did have a problem with, I'll never have to deal with again. He didn't just heal me from it. He didn't just give me a temporary relief, but he canceled out everything that caused that thing to be a problem for me in the first place. He made her whole. So she is both healed and made whole. And now the man must continue to keep his faith in check. Yes, yes. Because the people said your daughter's dead. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible said Jesus heard. Yeah. And sir, I don't only believe that Jesus, because the Bible said he heard what the people said, but I believe also that Jesus saw what Jarius did. Yeah. They came to him, told him she's dead. But the man never looked at Jesus and said, don't worry about it. The man never looked at Jesus and said, that's all right. I believe that the man stood there understanding that my worship has laid the groundwork and a miracle is getting ready to happen for me. So because Jesus sees a man who can stand by faith even though he's hearing death. Jesus continues. He goes into the house. He touches the damsel. He commands her to rise, and so she does. This is my point for the day. There are miracles that are in the making. My sisters heal me well. I got scared, I'm not lying, I got scared because it seemed like worship and praise hit these men of God just like out of nowhere. I got nervous because the Lord let me see that the miracles that are in the making to us tonight are coming through the men of God. I know this is not common for Women's Day because we want to talk Hannah and Ruth and Esther in such a time as this and Deborah and the women who defeated the enemy. But can I say to my sisters tonight that the miracle that's in the making for you is coming in through the worship and faith of a man. Oh. The woman didn't work for that. She didn't labor for that. But the man went to Jesus and he initiated a miracle service when he showed up and worshiped in faith. So this is what I need if my brothers don't mind assisting me. I need every man of God that is under the sound of my voice. Every man that has relationship with Jesus Christ, I need you right where you are if you don't mind just to rise. And I need you, however you, I just need y'all men to start worshiping. I know it sounds crazy, sisters, but just let the men of God lead us in worship. And I'm saying to my sisters that as the men of God begin to worship, as they begin to release their faith, they are setting the atmosphere for your miracle that right now is in the making. Come on, men of God, lift your voices. Come on, men of God, create an atmosphere. The daughters need something tonight. There's a sister that needs strength for her journey. There's a woman that needs to be made whole. Come on, brothers and worship. Come on, men of God, worship, set it up for us. We need something tonight. 
in spite of your issue, worship the Father. In spite of your circumstances, worship the Father. Come on, Nick, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, if you want to start walking, I need a few of you to start walking. Just start walking in worship. Start walking in worship.